So over here you can see that I have a storyboard uh, drawing right here and there are a few drawings right here. So there are a series of drawings. But sometimes when you're uh, creating out new drawing, what you may want to do is view out other drawings um, before or after uh, the current frame. So in that case, what you can do is use something called onion skinning and to enable it, you can go around onto the top and see this icon right here. So it says toggle onion skin right here. And once you toggle this out, you can see that there is a green outline right here, which denotes out the next frame right here. So you can see that this is the line right here. If I were to go around further and further down the road, you can see other drawings right here. So if I were to go on to the beginning, you can see that there's the next drawing right here, which is in black and there's next green drawing right here. So if I were to go to next frame, you can see that very drawing right here. You can also go see red now and red is the previous drawing right here. The previous frame and next frame is denoted by red and green as you can see. And that is how you can see multiple frames out. You can go around over here and uh, go from previous to next frame right here as you can see. And you can see that the onion skin level is actually one right now. So if you want to change that out, you can go around and go for previous two panes as well, or even previous three panes. So if I were to do that, if I were to go to the uh, fifth drawing, you can see the previous three drawings right here and which is faded out. So if I were to go back, you can see the, uh, the drawings right here. If I were to go around onto the green one right now, green is this one, but you can go around and change around uh, the green pane to next three panes as well. So you can see the next drawing over here as well. So this is useful, especially when you're actually creating out a new um, uh, panel. So if I were to go to new panel, you can see this, you can go around and then draw on top of it, as you can see right here. And then you can go around, add an, a new panel over here and draw on top of it over here as well. So just like this, you can draw on top of it, click on this, you can draw on top of it. And now you can see that you can go around and add in more and more panels right here. And you can see that I can make um, a, a kind of like a motion right here. And you got the previous frame as um, um, as a reference point for working around with the new panel, as you can see right there. So that is how you can use utilize the onion skinning. And if I were to press the, let's say, play button right here, it takes out those very uh, six panels right here, the three before and three after, and then plays it around right here, as you can see, and you can go back and forward by using the slider over here as well, as you can see. So if you want to turn off onion skin, you can click on toggle onion skin and it simply turns off over here as well, as you can see. So that is how you can work around. You can also go around and expand out the onion skin to let's say, for example, uh, 10 right here, just like this, and it expands out accordingly right here, just like that. So that is how you can work around with the onion skinning option inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.